Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Ableton Note and how to transfer your project from Note to Ableton Cloud, then into Ableton Live Lite. So the first part of this video will be in Ableton Note. Then we'll go to Ableton Live Lite 12, which everyone can get if you buy Ableton Note, because Ableton Note now comes with a license for Live Lite 12, which is great. So if you haven't already got that, you can get it here. So if we go back here, here like this and to these little dots down here so you can get ableton live light here right and then you can set up ableton cloud there now you need to set up ableton cloud but you just follow the instructions you click on this and then you can set it up there like that okay so just follow the instructions you need to have this to working now there is another way of course say for the example i don't know um if you wanted to export this all you need to do is click on this now if you didn't want to use cloud you do not need to use cloud but it's a little bit more involved what you'd need to do is click on this here and then share to like this and then you can export this to dropbox or wherever you want and then on dropbox on your desktop you open it up and you you know grab the file from dropbox and drop it into ableton Right, okay, we're going to use this set here. So this one, I'm just going to quickly play you through it so you know what it sounds like. So let's just start this. So it's a, it's, it's a, a dead short set. Because Ableton Live Lite 12 only has eight scenes and eight instruments, okay? So unless you want to upgrade, of course, and then you can go nuts. Now the good thing about this is all this stuff will open up perfectly in Ableton because all these sounds are also in the desktop version of Ableton Live Lite. So anything you create inside of Note, you will be able to carry on work with. And that's the point, that's the idea. I think that's the idea Ableton Air had with Note is you can be sitting on, on, on the bus with your phone or with your iPad. You can be sketching out some ideas. Then you can transfer them over to, over to Ableton and carry on doing that. But you have loads more control in Ableton. You can use all the MIDI effects. You can change it. You can add instruments in. All that other cool stuff you can do. Right, how do we do this? It's super easy. We go back to our main page here. And this, you'll see, I've got no sets uploaded now. You can have a maximum of five sets synced at the same time if you want to. But then you can just delete them from here and then you'll get your space back. So it's, it's no big deal. I mean, most people would only do one, maybe two sets at a time and transfer them into Ableton Live, right? So this one, click on these three little dots. Upload to Ableton Cloud. Okay, I'll do that. Now, like I said, you have to have set up Cloud Ableton Cloud to do this first. It doesn't cost anything. It just means you need to sign in with your account and enable cloud. And that enables cloud on your device here and on your desktop. So we'll do this. Okay. Singing what it's done. It's done. Right. And you can play your project here. Well, you can play part of it, you know, it plays the main bit. But when you open this up in Ableton, as you will see in a moment, it, it, it opens up exactly as it looks like here. Okay. Except in Ableton, of course. Okay. Let's do that then. So back in a moment and we'll be in Ableton Live Lite 12. Okay. So here on Ableton Live Lite, first thing you want to do is go to where it says places and you'll see cloud here. Okay. So tap on cloud and you will see set eight, which is what we've just exported, right? So we open this up and what we want to do is it's this one here. We want to tap on this here. Actually, we want to double double tap it. But all the samples and stuff have already automatically been imported for you, right? Now, before I, well, I'll open it up like this, right? And it opens it up as a new live set. There we go. And this will be exactly the same as what we've just had in our iPad, right? In Note. Okay, let me just stop that. Now, the other way, like I said, to do it is if we, like, just let me move Ableton out of the way. You'll see I have a folder here called Notes. And what I did here is if I open this up, there's probably nothing in it. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, there's nothing in it. 
Oh, yeah, there is Dropbox Export, one I call Dropbox Export, which I did earlier. OK, now what you do with this one, if I just create a new live set quickly, so new live set, and then I open up this folder here, which is my exported one. You don't, I mean, you can come off cloud. It doesn't matter where you are, but right. All we need to do is once we've got, this is the Dropbox mesh method, but you see it's it's more clunky than doing it via cloud because in cloud, it's just automatically there. All you need to do is grab the file and you can stick it wherever you want it and it'll load in as a live set. There you go. And I'll just close this now. And this will play exactly the same. So... So that's one I did earlier with the Dropbox method, right? It's it's clunky, but it works fine. It's, you know, you don't need to use Ableton Cloud. You can use this. Let's create another new live set. Okay, no, I don't want to save that. Thank you. And we'll just expand this and go to Cloud. Where is it now? And we'll open up our set again here. Just double tap it and it opens up the set for us. The one we've put in cloud and the one we exported and it's exactly the same so here we go but the cool thing now is i have this because this is live light right this is all i have i have like actually i can add another three instruments and have a bunch more loops and stuff so What's great now is I can choose any of these instruments, right? And let me just select the monitor. Play them on my MIDI keyboard. And I can go and make adjustments to any of this stuff. Now, let me just do this, put that back to auto. I have all these instruments now that I can now add more stuff in. But I can now apply effects and stuff, you know, whatever VSTs I've got in here. Or I can add a completely new instrument in if I want to say, for example, let's go to instruments. Let's add in a, I don't know, this is from the simple. This is all, in, this is all, by the way, included in Live Light 12. There's tons of drum kits, tons of instruments and stuff. It's, it's really, really quite good. There's an awful lot of kits and they are really great. So, if, so for example, if I wanted to, a brand new drum kit, I'd drag it, I think, here and it would create a new kit for me. Here we go. The Cortex kit. Let me just sort this out here. And these kits are really brilliant. <laughs> they really are good. But there's also in here somewhere, there are some sounds like we've got this drift pad. Let me drag it into the actual instrument here. There we go. And I've got this new. So I could then kind of just add to this if I wanted to. And on and on, I could go adding new stuff in and doing all of what's this. Some of these are really good. Let's put it up there like this. Sampler is offline. Maybe I need to just drag this into a new slot like that. Yeah. I'm not the biggest Ableton desktop user. Although the more I mess with it. more really like it but you get the idea right once you've got your setting from note then you can expand on it as much as you like and it's, if you've got bigger versions of Ableton of course you can have as many of these instruments and what have you as you like anyway guys there you go that's how you do it that's how you can bring on projects in from note and expand on them in live light okie dokie I'll see you later ta-da